Hello, here is your astrology chart, and I'm going to be covering just the parts about relationship. So you have a Cancer moon, which would say that your specialty is in that tribe of nurturing. Specialty meaning something that you're already a master of. And the instinct will go toward um, taking care of somebody else. Then your rising sign is Pisces. And it's also conjunct Jupiter, which really expands and makes this bigger, more prevalent. So the Pisces rising skills are what you're here to learn about. And Pisces rising is the one who is, it's a water sign. It has to do with universal love and compassion for the whole of the world. You know, everything that inhabits the earth. The sun is in Aquarius. So the sun is like that energy that I relate to it as the heart. So the heart pumps blood, the blood circulates through the whole body. The sun is like that. It's like um, the style or the flare of the whole thing, the whole cosmos. So for you, Aquarius sun being that, um, giving you that overall style of flare of being the innovator, the one who is cosmically um, has a perspective that is like the eagle eye view on whatever's going on. So the thing is with Aquarius Sun is that it can become very detached. It can sort of not be plugged into the emotional realm. It has that gift to be able to um, not get so pinpoint focused on the people and the situations and having this like big emotional thing happen, it can be emotionally detached from situations and from people sometimes too. The thing funny is that you have a grand water trine. So this is anchored up in here in Chiron and most people probably wouldn't use Chiron to call this a grand trine, but I'm going to because I think Chiron is a really important aspect in the chart in the sky. So the grand water trine is like this. Um, whatever the trine is in, I'll talk about yours because it's in water, but it could be fire, earth, air. The It brings a special gift of whatever element that the trine is in. So for you, a grand water trine is going to bring the extra gift of emotionality, being psychic, being intuitive, knowing what other people are feeling and thinking just by, you know, having that, I'm doing this because it's like that invisible threads of glue or stickiness that holds everything in the universe together. The water trine is really tapped into that. So it's a gift because of that, the ability to be psychic, to have intuition. I actually have a grand water trine on my chart also, which is, it's connected with personal planets which make it a very, it's very um, part of my personality. It's, you know, because the personal planets are the ones that are closest to the earth. So it, it brings it more into the everyday, the mundane. The problem with this gift is number one, you might just throw it up in the closet, never use it, then that gift becomes useless. The other problem is that I like to say it like this. It's like intensity, here's Scorpio, intensity, emotionality, giving, nurturing, psychic, empathic, and just spinning around in this and not being able to get out, being stuck in emotionality, being stuck in intense emotions and watery, just a puddle of not of stagnant water. So we kind of get to choose if we're going to use that gift or not. Okay, so with all of that, having the Aquarius sun is very unique because you're able to go and have this cosmic perspective and then also being, you know, fully in it and feeling it and having this emotional tugs on everything. Your inner masculine material is Pisces and Virgo because you have Mars and Pisces, Descendant is in Virgo, 
So this is the form of the masculine that you're most attracted to, most drawn to. And your inner feminine is Capricorn and Pisces. So Venus is in Capricorn. And oh, where is Capricorn? Venus is in Capricorn and the rising sign is in Pisces. So you combine those two together. So I'm not doing a full chart reading. I wanted to answer the question, which is I am, you know, have this Aries man. I think it's a man, Aries person who I'm interested in. And, you know, I'm not sure about relationships. So as you can see, we don't know what he's working with. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to answer that question because Aquarius sun, does Aquarius sun match with an Aries sun? And just looking at the suns, you, you know, you really can't tell much because you, you need to know what is it that you're attracted to. For you, your masculine inner masculine Pisces Virgo would say that you're attracted to the form of the masculine who is involved in sacred work, who is sensitive, emotional, and able to be in that emotional realm and also um, dedicated to some sort of work that is assisting humanity, the earth, the earth's inhabitants. He's a priest. That's that's the form of the masculine that it looks like astrologically you would be attracted to. But then your inner feminine is sort of like this elder um, Capricorn who is loving and caring and cares about all the, the children of the earth. It's sort of like Mother Teresa who builds an, an empire off of love and caring about other people. So... That, your your Venus, your inner feminine, I think definitely would like that Aries energy who is a warrior and a protector. Um, but answering a relationship question is pretty much impossible without seeing his chart and without knowing what he's working with. But if you want to just do, you know, Aquarius Sun has this overall style of being detached uh, being able to detach, not saying that they're detached, being able to detach, to see the big picture perspective, to have innovative ideas and thoughts. And the Aries sun is that fiery force assertion and being able to be the protector and the warrior for the whole tribe. Sure, these two can go together, fine, you know, but that's just a, a dissolved, like, um, it's very wa watered down. Sun sign astrology just doesn't really work in my point of view. So there you go. I probably didn't help you at all <laughs> in answering the question because there really is no way to answer that question. Um, the way two people come together is a mystery. And being able to consciously work with somebody else in a relationship, it's part magic because the way you met will be unique and magical whatever brings those two forces of energy together the two forces being you and him whatever brought that together is unique and whatever is going to make that uh if it's going to stay if it's going to move together this takes both people being conscious and aware so there you go as far as compatibility we really need to see the other chart and I hope that helps. So thank you so much for asking the question and allowing me to look into your chart and I look forward to connecting with you soon.